head and nose You're like water and like fire You put me out Hi guys, welcome to a new DIY runway and I know I'm like super extremely excited because I was gone for two weeks to Eastern Europe, Moldova and I'm finally back. I did upload videos while I was gone. I had them all pre-filmed for you guys. While I was gone to Moldova, I did two TV interviews which was really fun. I got a haircut. Uh, basically, I went to the salon and told the person to do something that's not blah because my hair has just been blah for the last two years. It's just like long and straight and like blah. One official, amazing, at least for me, announcement is that I have a new fashion blog that I have put all my heart and soul into and definitely check it out. It's evelinasfashioncafe.com. I will also leave a blog login link down below so you can follow my blog. That's going to make me like super excited and happy and keep me motivated to keep posting on that blog. So far I've been posting like three times a week, so definitely check it out. Today we're going to be making the stuff. No, 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 wait, wait, drum roll, drum roll. Today we're going to be making the Stella McCartney Flabella bag. How freaking sweet is that? I have it right here and uh, it is just a dream. Like this bag, oh my gosh. It is a very simple, straightforward DIY. It is pretty time consuming, but really simple. Before we get into that, I do want to say that this has been done before. There are several fashion blogs that made a DIY on it, which I will link down below if you want to get inspired from that as well. Um, I decided to film a video on it because I had sort of a different take, a different technique on how to make the bags I wanted to show you guys. So, no more talking. Let's get to what? To business. Let's get to business. For this project, you will need 5 packs of chain, which is 24 or 60 centimeter each, leather cord or a thick thread, fabric hole punch, scissors, needles, white pencil for marking, measuring tape and 1 yard of suede. So start by measuring 14 inches and place a mark. Then add 4 more inches for the bottom of the bag and 14 more inches for the second half. So a total of 32 inches. The width is 14 inches and I will have all the measurements in both inches and centimeters as well as materials listed on my blog down below. So measure 3 inches horizontally and then 4 inches down to create and connect them to create two triangles on the sides which we are going to cut out to create the trapeze shape at the end of the back. I decided to double the fabric to make it more sturdy and also automatically create a lining so I'm going to safety pin the two pieces together before cutting them out so that way they stay nice and together, nothing shifts, nothing moves and I can punch my holes through them as well. So these chains from Michaels come in the size of 24 inches already which happens to be the exact measurement of the sides of the bag as well as the handles so you don't even have to cut the chain. I will try to find them and link them on my blog as well but remember to uh, keep an eye on them uh, at Michaels. So you just see that the 24 size fits, per 24 inch size fits perfectly. So now you're going to take your ruler and measure about a fourth of an inch all around the bag, and then uh, hole punch little holes all around the line that you measured out. Then I have two methods, and the first one is to weave the chain with the leather cords, weaving it through each link twice. And this is a little bit more time consuming and more th uh, more. Um, sturdy and also it's just a type of look if you like it. I personally thought it was a bit too bulky so I decided to go with a thread instead. So basically I'm just weaving it through the chain and then back into the holes. So with a thread you're going to do the same thing except you're just going to have a needle and it's going to be a lot easier. So just put the needle through the hole in the suede then put it around the chain. And depending how the holes line up to the chain you might need to stitch it once or twice around the chain link. Uh, but at the end it'll all look proportional. 
So now uh, you're going to connect the chains, connect the handles, and then I'm also adding glue to secure the top of the purse and make sure there's no fraying or anything. Then continue stitching till you reach the top. And once you reach the top, just sew around the holes, leaving the chain handle out. And this will give you a nice, finished, high-quality look. For the sides, cut out two 10 by 4 inch rectangles. Then uh, curve out the edges by drawing little curves on each of the corners and cut them out as well. And now sew them in on the sides to connect the bag together. And make sure that you're sewing this on the inside part of the bag. I kind of wish I doubled this part of the fabric so it has the same finished look like the whole bag has, but you can definitely do that at home. So once you're done sewing that part, just flip your purse inside out and this is what it should look like. And the final step is to add the chain as the shoulder strap. And this is it. You can wear it as the regular hobo bag or you can fold it in half and uh, wear it as a folded clutch. So it's like a transformer bag. And you're done! enjoyed making this if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below I always love and appreciate my new berries you do become a berry automatically once you hit the subscribe button and uh, don't forget to tag your creations on Instagram or, or Twitter with a hashtag DIY runway I check and I look at you guys' creations and I love to feature them at the end of the video so uh, with that being said I do wanted to update you guys. A lot of you guys have been asking about Pinkberry and why we have been closed for such a long time. We have been reinventing the brand. We have been changing a lot of different things. Um, probably the biggest thing that you have to know that Pinkberry is going to be Mintberry. And the launch of Mintberry, I do have a date. I finally have a date. Hopefully it's gonna happen because we just kept delaying it. It's gonna be June 1st. So get hyped up, get ready. June 1st, Mint Berry is coming back new and reinvented and awesome. And I really hope that you're gonna love it as much as we love it. By we, I mean me and my husband. We don't have a giant team of people doing things like a lot of people think. It's just us, two people, and we're doing everything together. So I hope that you enjoy this video. I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Thank you. Bye. By the way, thank you so much to all of you who came to my meetup in Moldova, Kishinev. I loved hanging out with you guys, and I will see you very soon. Bye. In clutch form, you sort of fold it in half, and you have this strap to wear it. Thank you. Keep